Hezbollah Ahmed Sinubu has urged the National Assembly to approve his request to borrow $7.8 billion, which is equivalent to over 6 trillion naira, and another 100 million euros, which is equivalent to over 83 trillion naira, as part of the 2022-2024 borrowing plan for the federal government. The president's request was contained in a letter read by the Senate president, Godswill Apabu, at the plenary. In the letter, President Tinubu said the former Federal Executive Council under ex-President Mohamedou Buhari had approved the loan facility on 15th of May 2023 to finance infrastructure, health, education, agriculture, insecurity and other sectors. Some Nigerians who spoke to Value Chain TV expressed reservations about the development. Borrowing is a factor, it's illegal. If at all, it's going to be used to benefit the intended, which is aiming at collecting. For example, when a loan is for infrastructure development, and nobody will say no. It's important for every country. However, what the borrowing turns into is, is, is the issue that should be addressed. If you borrow, you use it judiciously. No country in the world that does not borrow. Every country borrows, but they put it into the right use. That is a game. Understand? And uh, there's, no, there's no crime in betting. That's just the truth. If you want, if you wish to bet, you can do. It's either you lose or you win. Understand? So anybody that has the mind to to bet, kind of good. We have had uh, we have had uh, stories of how people won some millions of dollars because they are they are betting. So they're trying to lock. I will never do anything like that. Betting for what? It increases high blood pressure because I'll be expecting something I'm not I'm not sure of. So it's, I, to me, it's, it's not a thing. So if government sees it as an avenue to raise capital, to raise tax, to raise money for the country, let them go ahead because uh, I, I, don't, I, would, I will not subscribe to betting. 